Coach Spags was asked about leaders on the team, and he mentioned you. And I'm just curious, in what ways do you feel like you maybe stepped up in that regard if you were really training camp? Um, I don't really feel like I did anything different. I mean, just being more vocal to the guys. Guys come to me to ask questions and just – they look to me to give them the right answer if they don't have the right answer. So that's the only thing I've been doing, just trying to be a leader, uh, lead by example, and then if they have any questions, just ask me. I'm not doing anything different. How do you feel your reporters with Justin Reed? I mean, I think we're getting there. Like, we still have a lot of work to do because each and every day you're always looking to improve. But um, Justin, he's picking up on the playbook really well. I think he's doing a heck of a job, making a lot of plays on the ball. And I feel like we got a real good uh, secondary unit this year. In OTAs, that you were planning to have an all pro type of season. What leads you to say that? Is it just the fact that you're more healthy maybe than you've been, or are there other factors as well? I mean, there's a lot. I mean, I feel like the past year I just wasn't as confident, like in my ability, because of the fact that I was struggling with the knee. So I would say that the knee is healthier. Um, I have more mental clarity. Like, I just I feel better, like, all around. I just feel like that I'm back to myself and I'm capable of having that all pre season. So I'm definitely here to back up whatever I said and I'm not taking that back. When, when, did, that, when did that start? When did that sort of confidence sort of manifest itself to you? Um, honestly, it started to come back a little bit at the end of last season. But this, this past offseason is just something that I knew that I had to work hard at, like not just like on the field, just building myself mentally. And that's just one of the things I did. Like I was reading books and things like that um, and just knew that I was going to be put into that leadership role. So like that was just the main thing I wanted to focus on. Two weeks in the camp, what were your, your impressions so far of the young guys in front of you, Trent McDuffie, Joshua Williams, Jalen Watson, as, as they acclimate to the scheme? I mean, I was once a rookie at one point. I know that it takes time to like pick up on that playbook because Spag's defense is like, it's not a joke. So I think the guys are doing a heck of a job. I mean, it shows that they're studying. They're, they're making a lot of plays on the ball. They're not making a lot of mistakes on the field. And then that's the main thing is just that they're playing with confidence. So I like that group a whole lot, and I'm just excited for them. Related to that, another young guy, Brian Cook. Mm -hmm. The more you get to know him and everything, what has kind of learned about him? What do you see in him, both on and off the field? I mean, he's a heck of a guy, funny guy. Uh, I see him like as my little brother. I mean, I've watched like a lot of clips of him at Cincinnati, and I, I can tell you right now, he's gonna be a hitter for sure. Like, so I'm really excited to see him out there um, Saturday and starting to play some real football. Because right now we can't hit these guys. We don't want to hurt our own teammates. So I'm really excited for him. Mm -hmm. What have you noticed about those two rookies interacting together? I mean, they, they hang out all the time. Like, just like when me and Finn came in, like, we were basically, like, best friends at the same time because they, they're in the same class. I mean, with them being together all the time, it's just going to help. It's going to make them better because they get to study together. They play together, and they just build chemistry. When you see them two together, me and Justin Reed are the older guys, and then they bring to get, come together with us. It's great. That's how you build the best chemistry on the field. Sometimes when you have like the major knee thing, it takes a couple of years to really feel like oh, yourself. Yeah. Do you feel even differently last year to this year now that you're a few years removed? I feel better today than I did two months ago. So like I'm still like just getting better and better each and every week. And I could definitely say I'm it's a, it's a huge difference. Like last year I just I was still thinking about it. I still had pain in the knee and now I'm just out there playing football with no pain, not even thinking about it. So that allows me to make more plays. If I'm reading concepts instead of thinking about my knee, I'm going to make more plays naturally. So I feel a lot better for sure. Do you like practicing uh, in the heat? Like the, it's a little bit hotter this year. Does it help you? Like, I would be you honest with you. I'm not the heat guy. That's not me. Like I would rather play in negative 15 degree weather than play in 100 degrees. That's just me. It's just like when I'm out there in the heat, it's just like I walk outside and all my energy is just gone. I don't know what it is, but um, not a fan of the heat at all. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just with the three safeties, you guys, what do you think the potential is of that group? And I guess if it goes well, what do you think that's going to look like with you, I Justin mean, and Brian? The sky isn't the limit. Like, we can go past that. Like, I feel like we have a really good uh, safety group. Guys can make plays on the ball, and, like, we've been showing it each and every week. Guys can tackle. They're physical. And like I said before, we're going to be one of the most feared uh, defensive back units in the NFL. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, Juan. All right. Thank you.